Hey, Gloria McDonald here. Now, this is, I'm going to warn you, this is a little controversial, and this is something that I strongly disagree with, and I see so many of the quote-unquote pros touting this as something that you should do. Now, it came up last night on a group coaching call that I was doing, and this is a group of serious network marketers who've invested in mentoring. They're serious about taking their businesses to the six-figure level and beyond. They're investing their money and their time, they're taking action and they're getting results. And one of the women, brilliant women on the call said, well, shouldn't I take some time to figure out my avatar before I start writing emails and creating content and things like that? To which I was like, ugh, why are people so hung up on avatars? Because in my humble opinion and in my experience, it's a load of crap. So let me give you an example. And this is what I said last night on the call. If I were to tell you my avatar, if I were to spend time and really dig deep and identify who my exact ideal client was, her name would be Joanne. They all say you're supposed to name your avatar, which in my opinion, again, is just more BS, but her name would be Joanne. She'd be 57 years old. She'd be a struggling network marketer who's concerned about well, really worried about, will she ever have enough money to retire? She reads ABC, DEF, HIG magazines. She watches bloody, bloody, blood TV channels and TV shows. And, you know, she follows Mr. All That and a Bag of Chips on social media. The Now, here's the problem with that. And this is, again, what I said on last night's call. Hey, Pauline, so great to see you here. Hey, Renee. So what I said on last night's call was, if that were my avatar, let's look at the 30 or so people on this call. And let's expand my avatar. They say you're supposed to be really specific, so I made up 57. But let's say my avatar is a 55 to 65-year-old female with all of that going on. So we went through all the people on the call, Zoom call, people have their cameras on. And of the 30 or so people on the call, only four or five fell into the category of 55 to 65 year old female. So on the call, there were people from their mid thirties to their early eighties. There were men, there were women. Oh, I forgot to mention in my avatar, it would be someone who had been in network marketing for 2.5 years. Well, on the call last night, there were people who've been in network marketing for well over 20 years, who've built huge teams. And there were people on the call who'd only been in network marketing for a short amount of time and never recruited anybody. So if I were really targeting my avatar, if I were talking to that 55 to 65 year old female who's struggling with, you know, to wonder if she'll ever be able to have enough money to retire and she's struggling in network marketing. Well, I also forgot to mention there are a bunch of people on that call that haven't even thought about retiring. That's not even on their radar screen yet. So if I were talking to that avatar that I dug deep to discover, I would have missed 85% or more of my actual clients, people who've actually paid me thousands of dollars to work with me. So forget the avatar crap. I mean, I really think it's a load of crap. Far, far, far more important than figuring out who that one person is and naming them and figuring out exactly how old they are. Now that might work if you're selling a product that is very specifically for women, who are breastfeeding in the second month of breastfeeding. Well, sure, if you've got a product that's that specific, yeah, you need to hone it. And it might be fantastic. I'm not saying there's no place for an avatar. Maybe if you've got a multi, 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 multi-million dollar advertising budget, and you're about to go spend a, that whack load of money on TV ads, radio ads, um, print ads, you know, uh, newspapers and magazines and social media, then yeah, maybe you need to figure out exactly, you know, who they're following and what they're reading and what TV shows they're watching. So you can place your ads at a, in intelligent places. But I'm guessing that anybody watching this does not have that problem where they have a multi, 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 multi million dollar ad budget. And if you do, then, you know, you're in the wrong place. Sorry. But what is far, far, far more important in your marketing is that you understand your prospects' pains. So you could say, Gloria, but 
you know, don't you want to hit network marketers who are struggling? Well, frankly, no, not even. Sure, the vast majority of my client base is network marketers that are struggling, but I have numerous people who are actually doing really well in their network marketing businesses and they've earned millions of dollars and they're still clients of mine because they figured out that in order to really help their downline, they need to learn more about how to use LinkedIn and they don't know how to use LinkedIn and they see the value in it. So again, if I'm targeting the struggling network marketer who's only been in network marketing for 2.5 years, I would miss a bunch of my clients who are very successful, who've been in network marketing for many, many, many years and get the fact that there's room to expand and grow and learn new things. So instead of worrying about your avatar and this exact person and exactly what they look like and exactly how old they are and what TV shows they're watching and what books and magazines they're reading, instead of doing that, understand the problems you're going to solve for your prospect. Understand their pains. Understand their dreams. What is it they want to shift and change? And understand the four main personality types. And when you understand that and you can speak to that, that's when you've got gold. So stay tuned for tomorrow for part two when I'm going to dig into that, dig into understanding your, your prospects pains and their dreams and their struggles and what they're really looking to change and and understanding the four personality types and really selling benefits not features okay so i look forward to having you back here tomorrow hopefully you'll get a chance to watch part two tomorrow and if you know that gee you really would like to start writing emails and articles and blogs and really be able to create that base of raving fans that are literally drooling to hear what the next thing is you have to say, then I want to invite you to check out my 30 days to writing killer emails, articles, and blogs in the link below. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for part two. Thanks.